In this video, we are going to take a look at our point groups and adjust the order of them, the display of them, go into some of the options and how we can view them and hide specific ones if we need to. So if I click on any of these points, they're all on the C survey existing point uh, layer. So we could freeze them all off at once. However, maybe we just want to hide the toe of our loam pile. So we can handle that with point groups. So under the toe of loam pile, say I want to hide this. I'm going to go into properties. I'm going to set my styles to none. So I don't want to see them at all. They'll still be in the drawing. However, we notice here that none of these points have disappeared. They're all still visible. Now, point groups have a display order and it's a hierarchy. So point groups on the top will take precedence. So because we made this entire loam pile last, this point group with our design and our description takes precedence. If I right click on point groups and go into properties, there is a display order here. So if we take the entire loam pile, we can drop it by one and I'll hit apply. Regen all. We notice that these points in the middle have now picked up that test pit style and the toes are still showing. So if I move it down another one and hit apply, we have to hit okay. These ones have now updated to our borehole style. I'm gonna drop this to the bottom of the list. And as soon as I hit okay, the toe points should disappear because I have them set to none display. So my toe of my loam pile is set to none and it's going to be set to none because that's where it is in the order of operations. If I set these back to the groundwater well, and I'll leave description off just to show you the, all the options we can play with, the points are there. So really handy for hiding different points. We could set up a point group for our entire surface that displays, and all we would have to do is move it up and down in the list, one or two options, and it would hide those points. It would show us what we want. So again, if I come in here, properties, and I move our entire loam pile to the top, they all switch back to the display because of the hierarchy. We'll go back to properties. I don't believe, oh, you can move all points. So never move all points to the top because it will take on that and that's gonna, always gonna be, be the one that's showing the display. So a lot, of, a lot of use here, a lot of flexibility of how you wanna display things. And again, if we just go into properties, we can turn off different aspects because to be honest, those labels do tend to get in the way. They are very visible. If you know what all your points are and what your points look like. So we can, we, if we know that these are the toe, these are the shoulder, and these are the top of loam, simply turning them off like that, just not displaying the labels tends to really help. Alternatively, there is another option that I tend to use. So let's go and turn these back on. Now this will affect your entire model space. So if you have a lot of a lot of things in model space, prepare for them to change a little bit. None of the information is going to get destroyed, but I do play with my model space scale a little bit. So if I switch down to one to 500, all the points are in the right spot. They have gotten 50% smaller though. If we go down to one to 250, we can actually see all of the words now. There's very few that are overlapping. Now this will affect everything else. This will affect your surface styles. It's gonna affect your alignment styles, your label styles. They're all going to adjust. However, the model space scale has absolutely no bearing on any drawing tabs you have set up. So feel free to set model space for whatever you need. If you need to be able to see through this mess of points and pick certain ones out, this is a very easy way of doing it and just switch it back to what you need when you're done. So again, we could go and set every single one of these point groups. We could make a layer for it and put them on its own layer. 
I'll usually have five or six layers for points in a drawing that will be existing and then existing maybe a new day that they surveyed and then the design of the road, design of a, a pile of dirt, design of a, a subdivision, etc. So different layers for different points. However, very, very handy to modify them through the point groups properties. And even if we go into the help file, and you should be able to look at point groups. And about point groups, it gives you some information about it. And there should be two change orders and controlling the appearance of points, etc. So take a look at this. There is a lot more options.